for book one, proposition number 18 of Euclid's Elements, in any triangle, the greater side subtends the greater angle. So if we start with some triangle, ABC, and we know that the side AC is bigger than the side AB, then what we're trying to prove is that this angle here, ABC, that subtends the side AC is bigger than this angle ACB, which subtends the side AB. So to start this proof, let's first use book one, proposition number three, which says that we can cut off a piece of a bigger line equal to a smaller line. So let's cut off a piece of this line AC equal to the line AB. And we can cut it off at this point here, which we can label D. So now we have that AD is equal to AB. And using postulate number one, we can connect the points D and B. So we just constructed the line BD. And now we want to use book one, proposition number 16, which says that an exterior angle of a triangle is always bigger than either of the opposite interior angles. So in our case, we're looking at this angle ADB, and this book one proposition number 16 says that this angle here is bigger than either this angle or this angle here. So let's write that this angle ADB is bigger than the angle ACB. But we know due to book one, proposition number five, that if we have two equal sides in a triangle, then the angles which subtend those equal sides are equal as well. So this angle and this angle here are equal. Or in other words, this angle ADB is equal to the angle ABD. But we also know that this angle ABD is smaller than the angle ABC, since it's only a part of it. And common notion number five says that the whole is always greater than the part. So let's write that the angle ABC is always bigger than the angle ABD. And now looking at these last three results, since we know that ABC is bigger than ABD, but ABD is equal to ADB, and ADB is bigger than ACB, we can only conclude that this angle here, ABC, which is bigger than this angle, would be much bigger than this angle. So in other words, angle ABC would be much bigger than angle ACB. And this is exactly what we sought to prove so we can end with QED.